Hey, mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going to be going through electricity uh, tariffs, right? I did a poll on YouTube and I asked you guys, what is the video tutorial that you guys would love to see on the channel? And the majority voted for electricity tariffs or tariff systems. So I'll be doing electricity tariffs, right? Uh, before we get started with the video tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you also click on the notification bell so that you get notified every single time that i upload a video tutorial and also please make sure that you give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and it helps the channel reach more learners that are struggling with mathematics or even learners that want to better their mathematics marks also don't forget to also share the channel with your friends that are doing mathematics or mathematics literacy because i am doing both mathematics and mathematics literacy on the channel so without any further ado let's get started with the video tutorial <music> So guys, when you're working with electricity tariffs, right, there are two types of meters that are used um, that measure and record the amount of electricity that you have used in your household, right? The first one is the prepaid meter system. The second one is the postpaid meter system. So with the prepaid meter system, right, it is the same as saying it's pay as you go. You buy an electricity voucher, you insert that voucher into your prepaid meter box and you'll be able to use that amount of electricity. So if you buy an electricity worth 100 Rand, you'll get a certain amount of units, all right? And when those units are done, then you are done. You don't have electricity. You have to go back and buy another electricity voucher to have um, electricity. But with the postpaid meter system, right, you use your electricity throughout the whole month. And at the end of the month, you'll get a bill that says that you use this amount of uh, this amount of electricity and this is the amount that you need to pay. All right. So those are the differences between those meter systems that you get for electricity. Right. So I'm just going to write that down. What I have written here on the board is that with the prepaid prepaid meter system, right, you get charged per kilowatt hour of electricity that is used and there's no monthly rental. And with the postpaid, this is read once a month. Then you get issued with a bill and the bill will show you how much electricity was used as well as the cost for that electricity, okay? It is also important to also note that with the postpaid uh, meter system, right, the charges fit into two uh, basic categories, right? So the first category is Okay, so like I mentioned with the postpaid uh, meter system, right, the electricity fits into two basic categories, right, namely you get charged per kilowatt. It's either the first category where you get charged per kilowatt of electricity used and there's no monthly rental and ampere charge. And the second one, there are two charges that are calculated. The first one is the ampere charge plus the charge for the kilowatts used, right? So what is going on here, like I mentioned, is that with electricity tariff systems, you get two meter systems that are used. So the first one is the prepaid meter system, and the second one is the postpaid meter system. And with the prepaid meter system, you get charged per kilowatts used, right? And I mentioned that it's the same as pay as you go, right? Or the same as if you buy a time, tolerate a time. When that a time is done, you cannot make phone calls, right? So same thing with the prepaid uh, meter system. When the electricity is done, right, you can't. You do not have electricity. You have to go back to your shop and buy another electricity voucher, right? With the postpaid meter system, I mentioned that this one is read once a month. So you use your electricity the way that you want to use it. At the end of the month, you get hit with a bill that says that, okay, this is the amount of electricity that you use this month. And this is the cost 
or how much you have to pay for the, like, that electricity that you used, right? I also mentioned that the post prepaid electricity charges fit into two basic categories. The first one is that you get charged per kilowatt of electricity used, and there's no monthly rental and MPA charge. So there's no MPA charge right? And the second one is that there are two charges that are calculated. The first one is the ampere charge plus the charge for the kilowatts um, hours of electricity used. Now let's have a look at an example and see how we can apply what we have just learned. Right, so let us have a look at an example, right? The table below is an example of a typical electricity tariff system, okay? We are told that um, so we're given the prepaid um, tariff system as well as all oh, the prepaid uh, meter system as well as the postpaid meter system and the charges for each one, right? So with the prepaid, the MPA charge is zero and the charge per kilowatt consumed is 0 0.566, right? So for every one kilowatt hour consumed, you get charged 0 0.566, right? Let's have a look at the postpaid meter system. The ampere charge for this one is three and forty-five um, cents per ampere, right? So one ampere is equal to three and forty-five cents, and the charge per kilowatt consumed is zero point two three four three cents. So for every one kilowatt consumed, you get pay. You have to pay zero point two three four three cents. Okay. Let's have a look at the worked example. So the worked example says that the Lamini household have a postpaid meter system with a 40 amp circuit breaker. Their meter reading for this month is 39,513 kilowatts hours. The reading at the end of last month was 39,953 kilowatts hours, right? And the first question asks us, how many units of electricity did they use this month, right? So the meter reading at the end of last month was 38,953 kilowatts hours. So that is the meter reading at the end of last month. So meaning that when you start this month, right, that is the meter reading that you have. Okay, and then the meter reading at the end of this month is 39,513, meaning that at the end of this month that you're in, right, the meter reading is 39,513 kilowatts hours. So then how many units of electricity did the Lamingmi household use this month? Okay, so what you're going to do is, okay, to calculate the amount of meter reading that the Lamingmi household used this month, okay, you're simply going to take the meter reading at the end of this month, right? And the meter reading at the end of last month, and you're going to subtract them from each other. Which will give you 560 kilowatt hours. So that is the amount of units that they used this month. Question number two. Calculate what they would have to pay this month. So how much will they have to pay this month, right? It is important to note that the Lamini household uses a post-paid meter system, right? And I mentioned that with a post-paid meter system, the charges fit into two categories, right? And since the Lamini household have a 40 amp circuit breaker, right? That tells us that to calculate the amount of money that they need to pay for the electricity that they use, they need to to take your ampere charge plus with the charge for the kilowatts hours used okay so you take your ampere charge and you plus it with the charge for the kilowatts um hours used right so how do we get the ampere charge right we go to the table that was given to us okay so in the table that was given to us we are told that one ampere used is equal to one ampere used is equal to three rand 45 cents, right? And we're also told that for the post prepaid, so this is for the post uh, postpaid meter system, right? One ampere is equal to 345 cents. And we also know that one kilowatt hours of electricity used is equal to 0 0.2343 cents, okay? So now we're simply gonna use this information to help us calculate how much the Lamini household 
has to pay this month, okay? So to calculate your MPA charge, right, you're going to take your 40 amp circuit breaker. So it's your 40 amp, right, circuit breaker multiplied by your 3 rand 45 divided by your 1 amp, right? The reason that I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys that, okay, the, the A and the A will cancel, leaving you with the units in rands, right? Plus the charge for the kilowatt hours used, right? We already calculated that the Lamini household used 560 kilowatts worth of electricity. So it'll be 560 kilowatts hours multiplied by what you want, which is your amount in rands which is 0 0.2343 divided by what you already have, which is your units in kilowatts hours, right? And like I mentioned, I'm doing this so that you can see that the kilowatts and the kilowatt cancel, leaving you in units in rands, okay? From here, okay, you can just simplify further. 40 multiplied by 345 is equal to 138 rand plus... 560 multiplied by 0 0.2343 is equal to 131 rand and 21 cents, okay? So the answer is actually equal to 131 rand and 20, uh, 208 cents. So I've just rounded it off to 131 rand and 21 cents. Okay, and then from here, what is your final answer? 138 plus 131.21, okay, which is equal to 269 rand and 21 cents, okay. So that is the amount of money that the Lamini household will have to pay, okay? What's important with this question is that you need to realize that the Lamini household is using a post-paid meter system, right, with a 40 amp circuit breaker. So that already tells that, that we are using the second, and uh, this fits into your second category, right, which means that you take your ampere to get the total cost, you take your ampere charge, plus it with your charge for the kilowatts hours used to get the amount that they need to pay, okay? So that is exactly what we did. And we found that the amount that they have to pay is 269 rand and 21 cents. Last question, how much would they have paid if they were on prepaid, okay? So if the Lamini household was um, on the prepaid meter system, how much would they have paid? So you go to our table, okay? And we saw that with the prepaid meter system, we don't get charged for the amp. The, there's no charge for your ampere, right? So it's just charged for your kilowatts um, hours that are consumed, okay? And then we know that one kilowatt hours, uh, one kilowatt hours used is equal to 0 0.566 um, cents. So we just simply want to use that to help us calculate how much they would have paid. Okay, so for the prepaid, okay, one kilowatt hour is equal to, you get charged 0 0.566 rands, right? So we already know that the Lamini household used 560 kilowatt hours worth of electricity. So what we need to do is we need to convert this kilowatt hours worth of electricity into the total cost that they need to pay, right? So you're gonna multiply that by what you want, which is the cost is 0 0.566 divided by what you have, which is the units in kilowatt hours, right? And then the kilowatts and the kilowatts hours cancel, right? And you'll be left with your units in rands. So 560 kilowatt hours multiplied, or 560 multiplied by 0 0.566 to give you 316.96 cents, right? So that is the amount of money that the Lamini household would have paid if they were on the prepaid meter system. Okay, and that is it for today's video tutorial, guys. This is just basic introduction into your electricity tariff systems, right? I hope I made this video tutorial easy and straightforward for you guys to understand. 
please comment down below and tell me how you found the video tutorial was it helpful um did i break down everything and made it uh, and um did i break down everything and make it simple and straightforward for you guys to understand please please make sure that you engage with me and let me know how you found the video tutorial so that it also helps me better the way that i explain to you guys right um and that is it for today uh for today's video tutorial guys like i mentioned don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and also please make sure that you click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video tutorial and that is it for today's video tutorial guys and i'll see you on my next upload goodbye that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.